Teacup dogs are more and more popular but there are many problems with these dogs. In this video I will tell you why you should not support those shady breeders and buy a teacup puppy. Let's start the video with explaining what are the teacup dogs. It's a dog that is intentionally bred to be as small as possible. The most popular teacup dogs are already small as a purebred dogs and the list includes chihuahuas, miniature poodles, yorkies, pugs or shih tzus. Honestly, I don't really understand why would someone need a small version of chihuahua or yorkie. They are small and easily manageable as a purebred dogs already. I understand why people want smaller phones or computers, electronics, but dogs are living creatures and they are not meant to be bred to smallest possible size. It's against the nature. To bred a teacup dog, the so-called breeders pair the smallest dogs of the litter, sometimes also called as runs of the litter, together. They do not care about their health and honestly the runs of the litter are most of the time not the healthiest dogs. But the only thing that matters is the size of the future puppies. The health is not that important. Other way how breeders can cause the small size is malnourish the puppies, but this way is as bad as the first one and it's causing a lot of health problems as well. Even the official toy breeds are pushing the biological limits of the dog body. The teacup dogs, which are very often lighter than 4 pounds in their adulthood, suffer from many serious health problems, most of the time problems with bones, hypoglycemia, hypothermia, heart and lung problems, seizures and blindness. They are also too fragile for this world. You can cause a fatal injury by stepping on them and it's dangerous to let them play with other dogs. They can even injure themselves by for example jumping from the sofa. They will be in constant danger if you have young children in your home. But all dogs are social animals and most of them, especially when they are younger, want to be involved in activities with their owners, family and other animals. But with teacup dogs it's kinda dangerous. Sometimes the teacup puppies might not be bred intentionally, they are just the natural runs of the litter. But when the breeder mark them as a teacup puppies, then it's just a marketing term to get more money from you. It's sad true that the same puppy marked as a teacup puppy will earn the breeder much more money. I want this video to be as objective as possible, so I will mention some advantages of teacup dogs as well. Thanks to their small size, they can live in the tiniest apartments. They are also extremely easy to transport and you can take them absolutely everywhere. If, and it's a big if, they are healthy, they don't cost that much. They don't need that much food as a larger dogs, which means they will not spend that much money and they also don't need that much exercise. But I don't believe that these few advantages can be more important for anyone than the serious disadvantages. There is definitely nothing wrong with wanting a small dog. They are cute, easily manageable and perfect for novice dog owners. But you can get a naturally small dog and not the teacup dog. You should always avoid a teacup dog because most likely you will buy an unhealthy dog that will suffer from many health problems and that will die sooner than it would naturally. Also, you will support an unethical breeder. Tell me in comments what do you think about Tika puppies, if you support this trend or if you agree with me and you are against it. If you are new on this channel consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check our Instagram and Facebook links are in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.